I am in South Africa this week, but real quick, have you taken one of those online tests to discover your biblical counterpart? In my early days of embracing the faith, I was always on the hunt for like a sign, right? Something to uplift me, to reassure me, and folks never hesitated to provide. I mean, I reveled in it. I mean, who wouldn't want to hear, you have the spirit of David, or the dreams of Joseph, or Daniel's visions? Oh, and let's not forget the one that got me all excited, the double portion of Elijah. Reflecting on those moments, it's undeniable how good it felt, right? Because if you're part of Christian communities, you probably have either received words like that or you've used them yourself, like uh, I'm a Mary and a Martha world, or I carry the fervor of Peter, or man, my life feels like Job's right now. And if that's you with the Job thing, thoughts and prayers. The thing is, we often start viewing these biblical personalities and we merge their narratives, their challenges, their essence into our own lives. You know, we talk about facing our own Goliaths, claiming our promised land, confronting our Jezebels, seeking Abraham's unwavering faith, or just fill in the blank with the biblical reference. And we even take tests on social media, telling us which biblical character we're most like. But here's a secret. We're not them, nor are you supposed to be like them? You're you. God created you to be you. And he created you to partner with Jesus, to reflect Jesus the way that only you can. And part of the problem is many of us don't want to be us. We want to be someone else, even someone in the Bible. But here's the fact, Jack. When you know Jesus, you have access to more than anyone before Christ in the old covenant system ever had. And he looks different in you than any of them. Yes, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, but he looks different in all of us. Look at his disciples. Every one of them were different, different life stories, different politics, different incomes, different occupations. But each were equipped for the singular purpose that was entrusted to each of them, just like you are. He created you to be you. So if you're looking for a magic formula that can make you like someone else you admire, even in the scriptures, it doesn't exist. You're not supposed to be like Abraham or Moses or Ruth or Job or any of those folks from the Old Testament. They were but shadows of what was to come. You've been regenerated in Christ. You have the ultimate power in the universe living inside of you, yearning to be a creative expression of God's glory. You're a new creation. As true followers of Jesus, we're not to move in reaction to the world, but instead we move in response to the Father. Jesus is the model, nothing else. It's not just the faith of Abraham, it's the trust of Jesus. It's not just Joseph's grace in the face of betrayal, it's Jesus' grace upon mankind. It's not just the administration of Moses, it's the discipleship of Jesus. It's not the virtuousness of Ruth, it's the truth of Jesus. It's not just Samuel's ability to hear, it's Jesus' ability to reveal. It's not just the heart of David, it's the passion of Jesus. And it's definitely not having the spirit of Elijah. It's the true spirit, the one that we are truly of, the love of Jesus. It's not just the limited old covenantal double portion of Elijah upon Elisha. It's the full on everything delicious portion of our fullness of Christ within us. It's not the bravery of Esther. It's the boldness of Jesus. It's not the visions of Daniel. It's sight through the eyes of Jesus. And I mean, I can keep going all day long. When receiving the spirit of Christ, I was not given the spirit of anything other than the Holy Spirit. Not the spirit of Abraham, Moses, David, or Elijah. I, we, you, me. We are given the Spirit of God. Our DNA is from the Father in heaven. Not some old covenantal system. These figures of our past reveal limited human elements to admire. Yes, they do. But we're not supposed to be like them. We're supposed to be like Him. Our model is Jesus. Aspiring to be anything else is idolatry. Everything else is but a shadow. And your shadow will reveal and release what overshadows you. Let Jesus be your model. Let Jesus be your rock. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. And you're wonderful. And you have a story to tell.
everything else, while amazing and worthy of imagination, they were but stories and shadows of what was and is to come. God's good, and so are you, because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And go, stop trying to be someone else and be who he calls you to be. And he says, you are a child of God. Bless.